everyone and welcome back to my sewing vlog she loves to make. I promised you last time that I would talk to you about the Like So Amazing Summer Party uh, which was a, a jungle theme and I went to Bristol especially for the occasion and had a lovely time. I also bought um, some nice things to wear with a garment I'm going to make uh, from some fabric and a pattern that I bought in the shop and I bought some makeup and some skincare and things like that as well so I thought I would just share with you the whole bag of stuff and it might inspire you. I like a bit of sewing inspiration um, that leads to styling tips and things to wear with me made so here goes I've got my cup of tea quick slap and I'm going to share with you now my back. So I wasn't planning to spend lots of money um, and I didn't really, I just bought some things I needed um, and that will go really well with um, my fabric and my pattern. So here goes, first out of the bag, drum roll please, it's the Cali shirt dress. Um, so, I really have wanted to make a Cali shirt dress for quite a long time um, and I'm really excited about a first shirt pattern and I definitely want to make a view C which is the dress pattern, so if you can see, so it's just a longer version. I'll pop a link below to the pattern online so you can see it um, in more detail and this one requires two and a half meters of fabric so I'm going to show you now the fabric that I bought to make uh, the shirt dress with so here goes look <laughs> now for those of you who know me quite well who are watching you'll know that um, I don't usually wear much red and um, I don't usually, who does wear a lot of pineapples? I don't know, not me. Um, but I absolutely love the pineapples on this fabric and I think the colour is actually going to suit me and kind of lift my complexion. So yeah, really really like this uh, pineapple print on the cotton and can't wait to get started making that and it's definitely uh, it's not a lawn so it's more of a it's a poplin so it's going to be a bit heavier uh, which is going to be ideal to wear uh, in the autumn through to the winter and this got me thinking so after the party I then went to into Bristol and I had a look in charity shops, I had a look in um, some kind of independent shops um, and got some things and then I went to, those things were presents by the way, I can't share them on the vlog, <laughs> top secret other presents things, these are presents for me which is very different. Um, so this is a belt that I got from Faith because I thought I might like on occasion to belt my shirt dress so uh, from Debenhams and that was £10 from Faith and I have a lot of shoes from Faith and have had in the past they just seem to fit my feet really well I've got narrow feet um, so that's my wasted belt then I also bought some black leggings to go underneath so I don't think the heights are going to look that great with it and they might stick to the dress so I've got a pair of leggings black leggings in Debenhams these ones are by Red Herring and they were nine pounds so that's going to be a little outfit so you can see where I thought I'll justify my spending here it will all go together there was some thinking behind it Another sewing purchase for this outfit, 
So when you look inside the shirt, you will see one of these Kylie and Machine labels. It's Kylie and the Machine, sorry, like Florence and the Machine. Um, so these are the Tada labels. Um, there were some which said, uh, this is the back. And I nearly got those to remind me. And then I thought, no, that's just much more upbeat than a shouty, this is the back. <laughs> so <laughs> I went for those with a ta-da, which I thought was quite cute. So that's with my shirt dress now uh, ready to be made. Hopefully to start that one soon. I've got so many things I really want to make. I'm so excited. And I then wandered into Boots. And I found this lovely free case. I found these sunglasses. So these were in the sale. They were down from 15 to 11 pounds. And I never spend very much on sunglasses because I always sit on them, leave them somewhere, break them, all that sort of jazz. Um, so here are my new sunnies which I thought would go really well with my uh, Ogden Cami and all my other pink and kind of lilac -y makes that I've made. So yeah, just coordinating sunglasses for the pinks. I've got some that are black to go with other stuff. So like what I'm wearing, I probably wouldn't wear the pink sunglasses with yellow, but um, they are really cute and I love them. And I think they're a bargain. Yes. So that's those. Then I treated myself to some skincare. So I got the Clarins Gentle Foaming Cleanser, which my sister recommended to me and is really, really good. I don't often use it, kind of tend to use simple, but decided to treat myself because I hadn't bought much beauty for a while. So I got that. And then I also got my simple, simple biodegradable wipes. So for removing my eye makeup mainly. The cleansers are fine, but they don't still don't, if they're gentle, they tend to remove all of your uh, eye makeup. So got those. And finally in makeup, so I also got the number seven lash extender infinite lash length and volume mascara and this is great i'm told for contact lens wearers which i am uh, i was looking for a mascara that would last more than three months so this is a six month mascara and the lash extender is particularly recommended for people wearing contact lenses every day so looking forward to using that one i've been saving all this up for the vlog so i'll get to use it all now Show you. Next item is my Bourjois Rose de Jaspe blusher, which is my favourite blusher, which I always wear. Uh, I've been wearing it since I was 21, something like that. Um, so it's a lovely warm rose colour and it's got those kind of light reflecting pigments in it, which are really cool. So I got that as well. Um, so finally, I thought I'd share this with you. It's from Hobbycraft. Uh, it's really cool. It was in a sale. Uh, this is an uh, embroidery kit. So you can embroider the items that you love uh, with different um, different designs. So this one is Say We oui, Bonjour Paris. So I recently, uh, well back in May, not that recently, but it feels like yesterday, went to Paris for a social and I really want to embroider a Tilly and the Buttons Freya. Um, with one of these designs so um, I'll pop a link uh, to that kit it's a DMC embroidery DIY style magic paper kit um, which I thought would be really fun to use so that's the last thing in my bag that I had to share with you so the like so amazing summer party was really fun I got to meet some new people who sew in the Bristol area uh, so it was really nice to see them actually doing some sewing and, and looking at their different projects and, and making new contacts. Um, so I'll pop links below to their Instagram profile so you can see what they've been making. 
Um, so Emily and Astrid um, were two of the sewers um, who were in the workshop who I met who were really um, passionate about their sewing and had a couple of really nice projects on the go. Um, well, Astrid was wearing a uh, jungle themed blouse and uh, Emily was making a wraparound skirt and she was wearing a kind of jungle themed wraparound skirt as well which um, was a simplicity, I think it was the 8606 uh, I've actually got the pattern but I haven't actually made it up yet um, which was really nice to see on her and then I also met uh, Holly Stevens who um, is also going to the sewing weekender I believe Astrid is going as well so we're going to kind of meet up um, next weekend uh, so really looking forward to that so it's really nice to just be in the shop uh, and chat there was uh, some lovely cake uh, that Sarah had brought in and there was a raffle uh, and just the opportunity to kind of look at fabric, stroke it and, and generally compare all our purchases and uh, what we decided to, to buy and I really loved uh, a lot of the fabric that Sarah had there and um, could have spent an absolute fortune um, I just can't fit any more fabric in uh, anymore um, I've already overspilled my fabric uh, stash into uh, my laundry basket um, so I really need to make some more things so I just got one thing um, but I knew uh, the shirt dress, the Kelly shirt dress would be something that I would make and wear and really enjoy and I'll make again and, and really practical so those are the sorts of things that I tend to get a lot of wear out of uh, when I make them is uh, some nice sort of dresses that I can wear through the year so with sandals in the summer uh, or with leggings in, in the winter so uh, coming up uh, I'm going to be organising the first Devon Sews meetup uh, so look out for that uh, if you're watching this and you'd be interested in coming to Devon to sew by the sea uh, over a weekend and uh, perhaps do some fabric shopping and eat a lot <laughs> and possibly enjoy some gin um, then if you keep following my Instagram uh, I've also been working on a collaboration with So Little Time and so you'll see um, a result of a project that we've both been working on in the very near future also on the go at the moment I'm working on my Alter It August projects uh, so removing some sleeves, altering a uh, sort of fitting um, and fastening on garments uh, so that they'll be more wearable and I'll have those to share with you soon too so expect a few uh, shorter videos with lots of updates over the next couple of weeks uh, other than that I'll be packing for the sewing weekender and trying to make some difficult decisions uh, about what project to take with me uh, contenders at the moment are a pair of culottes and possibly a poppy play suit Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!